explore. Okay, so it's been a few months, um, but we're back and chatting away. Um, tonight's video hasn't really got an agenda. It's just a catch up, see how we go. There's been me and Dan sort of message each other quite frequently, um, not every week, but you know, on and off, and kind of like share experiences and stuff. So there was a there was something that Dan messaged me a few weeks ago called. Uh, is it kefir or kefir or how do you pronounce it, Dan? Kefir. 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 So kefir um, is is an interesting one. Do you want to go into a bit more about it, Dan? Okay, yeah. Um, right, my mate put me onto this back, back at the start of the year. And it's only probably in the last month, two months, I actually got older than myself and started to play with them and see how they work. Um, yeah, they're, they're basically little grains that you, you put into whole milk and you leave them overnight, you know, 24 hours. And what the, what the, the grains are doing, as they're eating all the lactose and all the sugar that's in the whole milk. And it's it basically, it's all the... It's tri like billions of... basically grow off the sugars within the milk. Mm. So... Once you then filter it out or sieve it out and you then get yourself a drink, you get to get a pure protein drink. So you're taking all the, all the, the shite out of the milk, effectively, and then you're left with a pure protein milk. Um, when, when you go into the history of it, which I'll probably, I'll put a link in later mm. on. Um, I've got two links for the benefits of it and the history of it. But you're going back about 6,000 years ago, they were discovered um, over in the Middle East. And then... I believe it's the the Russians, the Polish, uh, Romanians, and all them. They they have this as part of their like daily routine. Okay, like, they, they survive on it. They just swear on it. Like they reckon it cures TB, uh, cancers, um, helps with your weight loss, your blood flow, uh, antibodies within your, your your cells and stuff. So it's like so, a, it's just like it's like a gut gut health. So it's it's cleansing the gut. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, mate. Yeah, and and you're ending up like, um, you know, if you ever go on the toilet and you're struggling every now and then, like you know, it, it just everything just flows a lot better. Mm. You know, I'll put it like that. Yeah. Um, but I, I just feel it raises ready levels. Um, it's good for your skin, good for your hair growth. Everything about it, it's like a little secret. I can't, even, I can't even put it away. Yeah, it's like a little secret ingredient. Yeah. Um, and what was the I'm, biggest? It's what, amazing because, like, sorry, what what were the biggest benefits you found then in in terms of where you were? The energy levels. Ah, okay. Energy levels. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, at first, like when when you taste it, it's got a very unique. It's it's like sour milk. It, it doesn't yeah. taste very nice at first, but after a while you get you get into the use of it. But you can mix it with stuff like bananas, uh, make smoothies and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, if you want to. I tried it and then I thought I'll stick just with a plain sour taste, like because um, you know when you when you're having it, you just know what it's doing. Yeah, you just feel it, a lot. It's lot an better. interesting. But it's helping one. control weight as well, and stuff like that. So yeah. In, interesting one because you you mentioned it um and it was it was like this kefir um you know drink or whatever you'd been whatever you'd been sort of whether I didn't know if it was a drink or like a yogurt or whatever it was at the time but then I I was shopping in a, a very well known um discount supermarket and I saw these uh, these kefir drinks and I picked up I think we picked up two or three at the time um took them home never even sort of like looked at the back of the, the bottle for the ingredients and, and looking a little bit deeper into it um, and ended up having one of them the next day, I think it was. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is all right. But it was like a little bit tangy, a little bit, um, you know, a little bit sweet, I thought. And then as I delved a little bit deeper into the ingredients, I found out that that, that, that drink contained 44 grams of sugar per serving um so i quickly uh didn't put them back on the shopping list again but it's 
it just shows you, I think, with food and the way things are packaged um, and healthy foods as well, isn't it? You know, you'll you'll notice, oh, it's 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 got, you know, it's sold as a kefir drink. So you think, uh, oh yeah, you know, I know the benefits of this. I've heard about this, and someone told me to try it. But then with forty four grams of sugar in the back of it, it's 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 not it's not good. Uh, so I think for me personally. I haven't managed to get any Chris, uh, sort of kefir grains as yet properly from, from Amazon, but they are on my shopping list next time I place an order. And then I'll be knocking on your door to, to kind of guide me through that. Uh, and I believe you you leave them overnight, don't you? And then kind of like harvest harvest them off or harvest the, the, you know, the liquid off at any one time. So it is a little bit of processing through the uh putting the grains in into the milk and then and then getting back something you know the day or so after which is really interesting because i think that's that's it just shows you that you know it's working and it's a live a live culture if you like yeah that that's what it is i mean at, at first when when i see them literally growing um in front of my eyes i was just like I can't, I can't. I still can't work out how it how it works now. I started off. I got given a little tub, which probably got the size of this car key, mm. right? Started off a little tub like that, and it had maybe eight or nine grains in it and a little bit of whole milk. And then as the weeks have gone by, it's got to the point where I'm filling like a pint, giving them to friends, and I give I give some to my mum, I give some to my next door neighbour, I give one to my friends as well. And even now, I mean, I've got enough growing in the kitchen there that I could make another two or three boxes and, and give them off. Mm. So when I said to you about, I try and get these grains to you, mm. um, it's, I can't, exp- it's just magic, mate. I can't explain it. Like, they grow, <laughs> like, in front of you. Um, magic, magic beans or magic grains. All, they're just eating yeah. the sugars, so it's taking magic, everything out. But, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you could make a, a little fairy tale about them. Yeah, bean store. But the yeah. the next door neighbour, she brought round, she brought round one of the bottles for me from Aldi uh, of the kefir grains, mm. and it was the lemon flavoured one. Yeah, and I looked on the back of that. The first thing I seen was forty one grams on that one of sugar. So I think every flavour might be a little bit different, but they're all still high in in sugar uh, intake. And I tasted it, mate. Straight away, I could just I could just taste sugar. That was it. Uh, a little sip and I was like you can have that back I'll, I'll give you some of these so I filled some off for it she went off and then she messaged me two or three days later saying these are great like I'm not going to go back by them ever again mm. from the shop um, I've got I'm looking at them now they're looking all like they go all like crystalline and clear at the bottom so you have to keep shaking the bottle every now and then yeah and then just put the milk out of it and then just put the grains back in the, the tub or your, your bottle throw milk back in it again leave it another 24 hours mm. when you get that little cup you then just stick that in the fridge overnight so I'm, I've been doing it probably half eight nine o'clock every evening mm. and then I know half eight the next night I can recycle them again put them yeah. back in so I'm taking two two bottles now that are like um, about 330 same size as a can of coke so yeah. I'm taking two of them a day with me. I'm having one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. Yeah. And it is... Um, it's like a meal supplement as well. It's just... Yeah. Have you have you kind of... Um, you know, do you, do you feel... I, I know you said, like, the energy levels are better, but do you, do you feel any other other kind of benefits to it or is it just is it just the energy levels? Well, yeah, there's, there's energy levels, yeah. Uh, my hair's grown back quicker than it's ever grown back. So I'm, I'm spending a fortune at the barbers now. But um, I'm due to go back again. But yeah, uh, that, that's that's going back. Um, you can just feel like it's helping with, with toning up a bit as well. And, um, you know, muscle gain and stuff like that, because obviously the protein in it. Mm. And I just find it... Um, yeah, I just found it a nice. It's the taste as well. At first, I, I, I couldn't grow on it, but then I, I kept going with it, kept going with it, pursued it. Yeah. And now it's just it's part of the daily routine. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't operate without it anymore. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And I've only been using them for six, seven weeks. Yeah. 
I, it's, it's, cool. it's really interesting. I mean, I, I, I've i only experienced the sort of high sugary content ones that I've bought from the shop, but um, I'll definitely be getting some of the sort of the, the, the raw ingredients, if you like, and, and trying it from yeah. scratch because I've, I genuinely believe that there's definitely some benefits in it. I, I read up once you kind of told me about it, I read up a little bit about it and it definitely seems um, worthwhile trying out. But I think my, my point, my point around this one was that there's, there's loads of things out there. So, um, and, and this is to like kind of help um, with people's, um, you know anxieties whether whether they're stressed whether they're depressed and, and bits and bobs and um i've got a friend of mine who's going through a really stressful uh, situation at the minute a bit of a breakup um and it's uh i think interesting because obviously the advice that i'm giving is is kind of neutral and it and it's like you know just do one one thing at a time but his his main concern was, you know, I'm not eating. I've not really eaten in a week or so, maybe even a couple of weeks. Um, don't feel like eating, you know. And and when you get into that kind of situation, it it it's difficult, and especially when, you know, when you don't want to eat anything. Um, so, yeah, I mean, one of the things that I'll be sort of recommending to him would be this kefir this kefir drink and, and seeing if he can get hold of some. Um, and then just the, just the one percenters that we spoke around so many times before, just doing one, one thing um, every day for a week, obviously helps embed that, that, that better, put more positive uh, routine into your day. Um, I think that he, uh, he, he kind of, he knows it, but it, it's hard to it's hard to to put into reality. You know, it's hard for him to kind of process the everything that's going off at the minute. Um, but I don't know how 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 do you feel about that? So you know, uh, we we've both got sim. Well, we've had similar friends over the years, and people have come and gone and, and split up with long term relationships and whatever. But you know, when people come to you and say, "Oh, what what." What do I do? What should I do? What What's your advice? Um, I I had something not long ago, a conversation not long ago, similar to that. Um, and it was somebody who obviously came out of a relationship as well, and they didn't want to come out of the relationship. It was the other, the other person on the other side, like, and. You know, you could tell they were trying to talk about how, how they were moving on and stuff, and then you just, they just they stop, and you, you can see them physically getting upset. And I just said to them, like, you know, if if you've done your best, like, and, and you've, you've you've been there, you, you know, as long as you feel like you've done your best for that person and they're still not happy, then you've done all you can. Mm. So I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't put yourself in a position where you're not eating or you're not sleeping properly or mm. whatever. I'd, I'd walk away with it with a smile, knowing that you've done everything you can. Mm. And, you know, s- some people just won't appreciate what they've got or what they've had. And they always want to turn, you know, they're always looking over the shoulder for something different all the time and mm. they keep on, you know, it move, like moving up a ladder or up a chain. I don't know how, how you... How you think about it yeah. but it, it sounds like they've, they've got a person like that in their life um and i just feel like yeah, as long as you you can sit there and you say well i tried everything i could try you know, i did my best and yeah. um, just keep telling yourself that every day and you know in a couple of weeks you'll start realizing that yeah. you probably didn't need them in the first place yeah. you know it's uh it sounds sounds brutal but in the long term it, it's it's the best way to look at it i think you know yeah. just know that you've done your best yeah that's a that's a really sounds like sounds like a friend yeah it's a really good point it's a really good point and and it, and it's always difficult isn't it you know the relationship breakdowns etc it's 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 always um you know you, you always kind of feel i i think the, the 
the best analogy I can give it is when uh, when Katie Price and Peter Andre uh, split up and the, the I think they did reality TV shows or whatever it was and it was either t- uh, Team Pete or Team Kate or you know what I mean and you get a group of friends that are very orientated to believe in one side of the story and a group of friends that are orientated to believe in another side of the story and, and it's ne- it's never really. Uh, you don't really have clarity or closure on anything, um, but you make a really good point there, Dan. In in that, if if you can sit there and say to yourself, actually, I have done everything I can, um, and done everything in my, you know, in the way that my values work, then you know you should sit there, you know, happy. All right, yeah, emotionally you're not happy, but happy that you've done everything that you can to. Uh, to kind of make things work I think that's a really really good point I think that's a really really good point um but I mean you know not to not to end on a bit of a downer but um from talking about you know kefir and and the benefits and the health and and that side of it um to you know a relationship breakdown where you're thinking well what can I do you know what have I done wrong or, or this and the other you know it's it's all the little things I think I think that's that's really where I've tried to 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 push over on on these sort of videos that you're not you're not going to take huge leaps and strides in one direction and maintain it. It's it's about keeping the little things going. So whether that's the cold showers that you introduced to me, and I do still do that, and and yeah, that, yeah. that's an amazing that's an amazing um, kick up the ass, especially if you're feeling a little bit tired and grumpy or whatever. Um, it's the you know the meditation if you, if you need to go a little bit further and a little bit more headspace. It's having the the kefir drinks every morning and lunchtime, especially if you want a you want a decent amount of, of good bacteria and, and whatever in the gut um it's it's just looking after yourself and i think they're they're the they're the key points from from this video yeah 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 we've covered it haven't we like on is it four or five different ones now and we keep going back to the same thing don't we in a way as in like just you know you got you got to take care of yourself most important thing absolutely you no know, don't yeah. don't let other people force force like things on you that you know you, you don't think are going to benefit you. Um, but yes, yeah, I wouldn't sit around and dwell on, you know, what, what what's going on. I mean, like if you can just, all you can do is learn from it. I think next time, you know, if, if you can't sit there and say I did my very best, then you think next time, well, what, what, what could I do better? Yeah. Or, you know, it's just self-reflection and taking the time to sit there and, and realise that no one's perfect, you know, and we've all got I've got what we say like a weakness, so it's just it's just assessing it, thinking like how can you how can you improve it? Yeah, and um, yeah, the, and, the little one percent is perfect. Yeah. And it all and it all comes down to knowing who you are. You know, the more you believe in yourself, the more that you will um, trust your trust trust your judgment. And uh, and I think that the you know there's there's no better person to to make the calls and yourself, but once you've once you've experienced a a level platform of you know knowing what's right and knowing what's wrong. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's it's been an interesting one tonight because it, it's it's kind of there was no agenda. We've spoken about a one percenter, if you like. We've spoken about the kefir, we've spoken about then a deterioration of a relationship and and how obviously that that person is 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 playing it out but i think you made a really really good point in in the sense that you know if you can sit there and say hang on a second i've done everything i can um but it's not reciprocated in in the same manner then you know that that's not for that's not perhaps the way the relationship um was was ever well it perhaps never was going to work you know, especially if it's not if it's not the same on both sides. Yeah, I've always thought like you know, if you can if you can help, then you help. Mm. Like that's 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 the mindset that I've had for for a while. Like, and mm. yeah, 
No, I, def- I, I definitely believe we've... we've... You, know, you, you, can, you can walk away. I used to walk away angry. Ships away. Yeah, yeah, I'm silly. silly. You said you, you... Sorry, mate. Yeah, it, it just froze for a minute there. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, what was you, you carry on. No, you were saying you used to walk away angry. Yeah, from, from situations where you, you weren't having it precipitated, like you said. You know what you you're doing and that, and in the end, you just you just learn to laugh. You just think, right, well, that's the way that person is. That's the way they're always going to be. Yeah. Uh, there's no point in doing yourself in. You know, yeah. just just learn to laugh at it really. And you know, if you if you if you can do that, then you'll find yourself just giving giving more people a hand. Mm. Then you have to or just keep on keep on throws again. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Right, okay. So okay. So, so you got anything you want to finish off with? Well, I, I think I think we'll end it there uh, tonight. Um we'll try and not leave it as long for the next one. Um but obviously the one thing I would say is that with the with the dark nights now obviously pulling in. Um, and people feeling perhaps feeling the um, you know seasonal um, seasonal kind of trough in vitamin D and whatnot. You know, keep 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 them levels of vitamin D up, um, and and try and you know if you are struggling with anything, just just try and reach out. Um, make sure you you you're having conversations. It's a little bit different. It feels a little bit different this winter in terms of you know we've not got too much um anxiety over our heads i know the covid situation is still going off so it, it it's worth making sure that your 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 peak of your your nutritional health in in terms of keeping your um keeping yourself fit and healthy but um i think this time last year it, there was a lot of uncertainty there was still a lot of people kind of um you know, saying about lockdowns at Christmas and lockdowns at, at different points. And yeah. I don't feel the same this year, but, you know, it still could be around the corner. Who knows? Anything can change very, very quickly in these, uh, <laughs> in the circumstances that we've been in. So all I'd say to everyone is, you know, reach out if you're struggling and um, just just keep chipping away at them one percenters. We've done loads of videos and different bits and bobs on, on the one percenters, um, have a have a have a read back. Sorry, have a watch back of them, and uh, and go from there. Anything else to finish, Dan? That's perfect, mate. Yeah, lovely. Okay, thank you, everyone. <laughs>